Hello, I'm Iona Fife. I'm a folk singer from Huntley in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. The American Folklife Centre at the Library of Congress have invited me to perform in their 2020 Homegrown at Home concert series. So instead of being in Washington DC, I'm coming at you from my flat in Glasgow. The American Folklife Centre will release a concert each Wednesday from now through until September the 30th at noon East Coast time. I don't know what that time that is here. Each artist will be present and there with you in the chat section uh, to answer any questions you have, so be sure to pop up and say hey. After each concert is released, um, you can find the video on the library's website or the YouTube channel. I'm going to start off with a song called Away From My Window, and I got this from an archive recording of the late, great Jeannie Robertson, ballad singer of Aberdeen. And I'm going to play a wee sample uh, to begin with. And the sample is of her nephew, Stanley Robertson, speaking about the ballad tradition. And I got the kind permission of the Elphinstone Institute at Aberdeen University um, to use this sample. So the song Away From My Window, you'd think it's about some sort of unrequited love. Um, but actually it's about a bank robbery, according to Stanley Robertson's liner notes in his 2009 album, uh, The College Boy. So yeah. Apparently a bank robbery in which the boy is let off scot-free and the girl who accompanies him as his sidekick is um, in lots and lots of trouble. So that's a strength of the Scots song tradition right there. This is called Away From My Window. The oral tradition, you put everything. You've got a whole ancestry behind you comes through you. And when you're telling a story or singing a song, you are the vehicle by which a tribe comes through you. And all your ancestors come here to help you. Now my auntie Jeannie used to say, when you sing a ballad, talk it to it, Bonnie, that the ballad is out here in the air. It travels with the great waves in the air. It's recorded in the bars and the stone and the wind and the trees and the rain. So when you take a ballad, you get to sing a ballad. Breathe it into you, let it fill every part of your body. See how it does. And when you become all these characters, then once it's inside you, then you talk it out, Bonnie, as best as you can. She never said you'd be a great singer to be in. She just wants you to feel the spirit and then talk it out, Bonnie.
is away from my window um, from the singing of Jeannie Robertson. So I'm going to carry on now with, um, with a ballad, of course. I grew up in Huntley in Aberdeenshire and I moved to Glasgow when I was 17 to study um, for a degree in traditional music at the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland. And um, my main principal study was Scots song and piano was my, was my second. But over the last few years I've been working more with guitar and fiddle. Um, but growing up, going to the Traditional Music and Song Association of Scotland competitions, ballad competitions, sing-arounds, folk clubs, festivals, I really got to hear some of the best singers that Scotland has to offer and um, their guidance and encouragement and inspiration has just been brilliant. And the next song is um, one that um, has been recorded so, so much um, by female source singers that this was the most recorded ballad by female source singers in the 20th century. And that's uh, the School of Scottish Studies archive that uh, displays that. And um, it's to no doubt that we have had several interpretations of the Mill at Tifty's Annie recorded and collected by James Madison Carpenter, including versions from Belle Duncan of Lamb Hill in Inch. And um, this, this ballad for me is quite important because it's lasted from 1673 um, and Agnes Smith's story has been continued to have been told um, up until present day with lots and lots of contemporary singers, well, my contemporaries, singing it as well. So Mila Tifty's Annie um, is kind of set in fivey um, and you can go and see her grave, you can go and see remnants of the mill and I just think it's so overwhelmingly sad that Agnes Smith was murdered in an honour killing by her own family just, what, 10 miles up the road from where I grew up. So yeah, this is a version that I mixed together from Tom Spears, or Tam Spears of the Gagers, and Gordina McCulloch. So... <laughs> At the the herbed man, and the neighbourhood of five he had a bonny daughter fair, and her name was Bonnie Annie. Her skin was like a spring in flue that greets the rosy morning. Her innocence and graceful mien, her beauteous face adorning. Lord Fivey had a trumpeter, his name was Andralani, and he hit the air to win the heart. Oh, Milo Tefty's a honey. Lord Fivey he read by the door Far to out sweet Tefty's Annie Met his trumpeter wrote him afore And his name was Andralani Her mother cried her to the door Come here to me my Annie Did ye ever see sick a bonny loon than the trumpeter of Ivy. Nathan, she said, but science here. Twas a lass for Bonnie Annie, for she durst not own that her hair to us won by the trumpeter of Ivy. And the first time that us couple met, Twas in the wet so fivey, and his handsome face and his fluttering tongue, see no one here to a honey. But her father come to hear o this, and a letter wrote to fivey to tell his daughter that been bewitched by his servant and Ralami. When Fivey had the letter read, he caught for Andralami, Pray tell me if it is this evening, Tim Lotef, 
Then look at it, I fleet me pit, nor thought in Jerani. For its honest love laps one hit, O Melotethis Ahani. But to Edinburgh he was sent, to Brackis Tai we honey, for they thought that she would soon forget. Her love for Andralahami. And the next time that Lord Vibe passed, he caught a sect of Wani, saying, If he'd come, oh, higher kin, I would knock him, my lady. Says she, Your lands are far and wide, and they are one. Bonnie, but I would not leave my dear lad for other lands so fifey. Then her father bet her wondrous soul, and also did her mother. Her sisters also took their score, but we beat her breathers. For her breather better wondrous soul. We curl strokes and money, and he's broke her back across a stain. All for loving and me. Oh, mother, mother, mark my bed, and lay my face to five for it's a little lie and it's a little die, all for loving and me. Who people hear, they far and near, me petty theft is a name. I'm going to carry on now with a broadside called the Banks of Inveruri. Um, now Inveruri is in the northeast of Scotland and uh, this song is basically about a girl walking down by the banks of the Uri and a man asks her to marry and she says no and that is it. And Inveruri is spelt or sounds very similar to Inveriri. Inveriri is on the west coast of Scotland and apparently post kept on being mixed up between Inveruri and Inveriri and then the song got mixed up too and at that point someone decided to make a change and Inveruri is now spelt with an IE instead of a Y that's your piece of pointless information for today. So there's um, a broadside that exists, Banks of Inveriri, Banks of Inveruri, but it's the same song really, but we don't want West Coast folks pinching our songs. Um, I joke, but it's a really gorgeous song and it was recorded by uh, Jock Duncan, Shona Donaldson. It's a really, really lovely song. Um, likewise, James Madison Carpenter collected it from Willie Matheson as well as Bell Duncan. Um, so, yeah, Banks of Inveruri. On the side and walking and in the sided path by the banks of Inveruri I spied a bonny lass for he hung her her shoulders
carry on now with another ballad and this one is called Glenlogie and I initially got it from the singing of Shepherd Spears and Watson and uh, I decided to use a different melody. I used the melody from Anahi Gordon and mishmashed them together but this ballad features heavily in the James Madison Carpenter collection and he collected it from the likes of Alexander Robb as well as Belle Duncan and uh, Belle's name definitely comes up a lot here simply because she, she contributed over 300 songs 65 of them being child ballads and I can't get over that what a memory she must have had it is no no wonder why uh, why Car Carpenter called her a, the greatest ballad singer just just wonderful so yes this is Glenn Logie and um, it's on my album too um, but it's a very very different arrangement there's a string quartet in it so yes strange happy ending we like happy endings with ballads because we very very rarely get them there were nine and nine nobles raiding Bankry Fair and Bonnie Glen Logie was a pride o' oh, them there. There were sacks and sacks of maidens dined in the King's Hall. Bonnie Jeanie o' oh, Bethelny was a flute o' oh, them all. Dun come Jeanie Meldrum, she can to repent stay, and she's chosen Glen Logie among all that are there. She called on his foot boy, but walked by her side, speeding fast that young man, and far does he bite. He's titled Glen Logie. Fun he is at him, he is o' oh, the noble gardens, the Lord John is his name. Glen Logie, Glen Logie, prove constant and kind, my love is laid on ye, and get I on my mind. He's turned a boot lightly, as the gardens day off. Sing thank you, Jeanie Meldrum, but I'm promised a woe. Then she's called on her handmaids to mark her a bed. We ribbons, I and napkins, to tie up her head. Oh, lay me down gently, with my face to the wall. Tack the rings fee my fingers, my jewels and all. The nap spark her feather in a way man was he. Ach, I'll wear thee to Dunfendrum, he's mere gower than he. Oh, Nana, dear feather, oh, that would not be. If I canna get Glen Logie, then for him I will do. So her feathers in chaplain, a man of great skill. He's wrote a broad letter and indicted it will. Oh, pox on ye, Logie, oh, must it be so? She's laying her love on ye, must she die in her woe? Fing Glen Logie got the letter, well a leg black got he. But fan he read the letter, while a tear bled is he. Saddle the black horse, saddle the broom, Bonnie Jeanie, oh, befell me, I'll be dead ere I win. When he got to the family, there was nothing near but weeping, I and wailing, vexation and care. Oh, pain and one was she when Glen Logie came in. A bit reading, rosy grew she, when she kent it was him. Come, room she. Turn to your right side, and I'll be the bridegroom if you'll be my bride. New Jeannie's got married, and her 
talk her do talk Bonnie Cheney who befell me was sixteen year old Metheny Metheny he shine while you stand and the header bells are ringing he shine on five years land I'm going to carry on now with a song called The Fear of Balna Fannin and this has been sung by Sally Robertson, Jeannie Robertson and Lizzie Higgins. It's a gorgeous wee fragmentary um, text, only two verses, but it was the text that I believe became part of Braes of Bachwider or Wild Mountain Time. Um, there's little snippets that remind you of Queen Among the Heather or Skipping Barfoot Through the Heather. I don't know if there's a Balna fan in, in Scotland, I'm not familiar with it, so I think that this might have been titled Fear of Bala Mina or Fear of Bala Money, but it's a gorgeous song. I was coming from a fair, from a fair o' Balnafanon, when I met a winsome lass, she was as fair as the Rhiannon. off now with another unaccompanied ballad. Thank you so much for having me do this wee gig. It's been absolutely lovely. Um, I have some CDs for sale um, at my shop, ionafife.com or through Bandcamp. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for listening in. Um, I'll be on the comments to answer any questions that you have. Check out the American Folk Life Centre's website where you can find lots of brilliant, brilliant sound recordings um, online to explore and that's at www.loc.gov slash folklife. I'm going to finish off now with a ballad that um, is rather rare and hasn't been sung much. I learnt this initially from hearing Ian Russell sing it at the Calerly traditional singing weekend. It was originally in Peter Buchan's Ancient Ballads and Songs of the North of Scotland and this is the only known text that Child had and Child overlooked it a lot. Um, Bronson didn't have a melody, this was in Gavin Gregg's Last Leaves, um, Belle Robertson and Belle Duncan sung it among others, Annie Robb, um, but it was the James Madison Carpenter collection 
which, um, well, James Madison Carpenter himself, who finally got that melody and got it, you know, archived. Tis but a month and it is no more, love since I married thee. And there is a baby at all in thy sight, and I'm sure it's not in me. Is it a lord or is it a lord? Or are you high to grieve? Or is it a in your father's merry men? Come, love, you can tell me. It's not a lord and it's not a lord. Nor are you high to grieve? But it's a in my father's merry men. And an old if me dee. It was in my father's kitchy boy, heart in the kitchy and the hall. He's put his arms on my shoulders, and he's forced me to the wall. Come to my barn, I will you flow till all your months are been. And sometimes you'll read of the good, good books, and sometimes you'll sew at the seam. And I'll go out on a bunny, bunny boat, and I'll sail across the sea. And be it wheat or be it dry, by time I will be home. It fell out upon a day, and labour she fell by. And her good lord in another room, he heard his lady sigh. Had my young son been to my good lord, he would ice my moan. Had my young son been to my good lord, he would na he been and gone. Well, up he raised and away he gazed, and it was days her moan. Well, up he raised. And then he gazed, and he saw her bonny young son. Tack my young son in your arms, tack him away from me. Tack my young son in your arms, and throw him in the sea. Can he sink? Let him sink. Can he swim? Let him swim. But never, ever, ever let him come here again. Till white fish he bring him. Well, he's taken her young son in his arms, and he's held him to his breast. And he's a what his mother's bower, for she was stuck in her rest. Come down, come down, my mother dear, come down and let me in. For the dew falls on my yellow hair. And it's sweet in my bonny young son. I tell you this, my son Willie, afore you get there to woo, that quine she was na a leal maiden. This truth I tell to you. But mother, you can na had another sweet head than I was across the sea. She was the king's daughter, and this baby she bore to me. If this be true, my son Willie, as I think it to be, there'll be no more him deemed to your bonny son than never was deemed to he. But mind you this, my mother dear, and we come here to die. You may I be merry to my bonny young son, but never ever call him mine. Well, up he raised and away he gazed as fast as he could go, and funny king to his lady's bower, he heard her mocking her me. My young son's to the white vision, and he's our young for the sea. And long, long, long will I seek for fish, ere white fish he bring me. Come to your bed, my dear, dear one, come to your bed, says he. 
Come to your bed, my lily flute, and a drink of mock TV. I wanna wanna go to my bed, she said. Not a drink will I talk, baby. My feel that would murder my bonny young son would surely murder me. Hot your tongue, my dear one. Think nay, me or hallow me. Your young son's in my mother's bower, and he's sitting on his nurse's knee. Hot your tongue, my lily fleur. Think nay, sick hallow me. There'll be name there hemmed into your bonny son that never was deemed in me. If this be true, my good Lord, this day knew well I'll be. If it hadn't a come for you, my Lord, it never could he come for me. Blessings on your cheek, your cheek. Blessings on your chest.